So today we're going to get into the concept, the engineering, and the results of our intake system for our Civic Type R. So if you want, ride along and we'll show you all the results we get from the dyno, the track, and real world conditions. So now you're in the hot seat of development in our Civic Type R. Being enthusiasts, we wanted to make an intake just as awesome as the car itself. We set out to engineer a track-inspired intake system that keeps the heat to a minimum while delivering maximum horsepower. As soon as our CTR came in the building, we got right to work. The team's concept was simple. Make the best intake for the platform, knowing it would have to live in the rigors of daily driving and the occasional track day but perform at the top of the class in both regards and with the stock tune. First thing we're making is an intake. We already have our catch can on here. We don't have a big area width-wise. Deep-wise we do, so we're gonna put the biggest filter in we can to get maximum flow to the turbocharger. First order of business was to scan the area and the OEM intake box. We needed to gauge how much room we had to work with and fit the biggest free-flowing air filter we could. Then we were gonna take some flow comparison data. So what we do is put our, the whole factory Civic Type R intake on our Superflow, and we take all these measurements. So we're trying different things to get the most accurate data from the get-go, what the factory does, and how it, where the restrictions are and where we can improve upon. Since the car needed to be track compliant, we chose to span the distance from the air filter to the crossover pipe with a smooth high-flow molded silicone coupler. With heavy throttle and lightning shifting, we knew the engine would be moving around. So this acts as a flexible joint and also insulates heat from the MAF sensor. With our 3D printed coupler in place, we took flow measurements between the two. As the graph shows, our design was 42% less restrictive on the flow bench. We designed several versions of the MAF housing that hold the MAF sensor. After several tests and brainstorming sessions, a final version was chosen. We 3D print our housings from nylon and test on the car immediately. After several dyno sessions under various conditions and a thousand miles of street driving, we were confident in our design. So we machined one out of aluminum knowing that we were about to start torture testing this car. With our full prototype kit outfitted to the car, we do a variety of testing. We compare our initial dyno numbers with our learned ECU dyno numbers. What that means is we take several horsepower measurements when first fitted with our intake and then after the ECU emissions drivability parameters have been met. We also dyno at different times in the development cycle. This ensures our intake is safe and consistent in all types of weather and different brands of fuel. Hood closed testing better simulates on-road conditions and gives us accurate air intake temperature data. It also gives us max gains of 16 horsepower and 20 foot-pounds of torque. With dyno testing wrapped up, we head back out on the streets to put another 1,000 miles on our CTR. We use the time to constantly monitor our long-term fuel trims and other OBD2 data. I also use this time to get very comfortable with our beloved CTR, because soon I'll be turning hot laps in it. But before that can happen, a lot of prep needs to be done, so back in the shop we go. It was time to prep the FK8 for our track day. It's a chance to push the limits of the vehicle and gather a mind-numbing amount of data. Our focus was to test and prove our intake system, but we also took advantage of the opportunity to obtain temperature data everywhere else. Any place we could put a sensor, we did. Our mission is to find any weak points and improve upon the platform. Our intake and all our future performance parts are engineered to work together, and times like these are the perfect brainstorming session. Safety is critical, and the entire car has gone over in preparation for its upcoming thrashing. Everything's in place for an epic day of track testing coaching. I mean, how else will you know the shortcomings if you don't push the limits? We set out to prove our initial concept is the best intake for everyday driving and running hot laps at the track. We came locked and loaded and brought our entire Type R team, armed to the teeth with sensors, data act boxes, laptops, tools, and four race jugs of fresh 93 octane. So, I'll give you a little walk around the car. 
We're gonna go out with our bone stock intake on it right now. The car is completely stocked. We're gonna thrash it, get it really hot. All these wires you see, this isn't a colorful rainbow of zip ties for no reason. This is all for our AQ1s. So we're gonna mount these in the car. This is all the data we're taking today. So we have so many channels that we needed two uh, data act boxes. It was time for me to suit up and throw down. For intake testing, we plan to run five laps open air filter and five laps with our high flow air box. We wanted to prove the benefits of our intake design while looking at other potential areas to improve upon. One thing you'll notice is how awesome our intake sounds. The car's performance is boosted with the intake and it's right at home on the track. We monitor several pressure and temperature sensors along with all the OBD2 data. But our focus today is the intake. As you can see in the graph, the intake temps are significantly lower with our high flow box installed. It kept a fresh supply of incoming air to the turbocharger, as opposed to the open air element, sucking superheated underhood air from all directions. This had an immediate effect on the inner core inlet. What that means is the inner core had to work a little bit harder under constant load, and it also can transfer all that heat right into the rad. Track day was a success. We proved our intake is the best for your CTR, and we got the data to prove it. All right, well, that's it. Thanks for riding along in our Civic Type R. Click the link below for more information on our intake system.